In the dynamic landscape of Silicon Valley, where fortunes are made and lost faster than a tweet, there's one name that consistently draws a fascinating blend of admiration and controversy, Musk. This family, spearheaded by the richest person in the world, Elon Musk, has become synonymous with trailblazing innovation, sensational business risk, and newsworthy uproar. But the question that tickles the fancy of many is whether the Musks are an old money family, emerging from a centuries-long lineage of power and wealth, or if they're decidedly new money, choosing to buck tradition for a wholly unique approach to success and influence. In today's episode, we'll give you the full unfiltered answer to that question. We'll first take you all the way back to the origins of the surname Musk itself, the wild and controversial lives of Elon's parents and grandparents, and finally dive deep into the personal decisions of the man himself as we give the ultimate verdict on if the Musk family is old money or new money. Now, we certainly have our work cut out for ourselves in this investigation regarding the old money roots, or lack thereof, within the Musk family. Indeed, although all strands of the current Musk family trace their roots back to Europe before the 19th century, the family itself encompasses an extensive cultural background that spans English, Anglo-Canadian, Dutch and Swiss heritages. With that said, let's first begin with discussing the actual surname Musk in order to give us a solid jumping off point. One commonly held assertion is that the name Musk originates in England emerging around the time of William the Conqueror and the Norman Conquest of 1066. According to the theory, the old French term mesh, meaning man, was its likely precursor, evolving over time. However, this is not the only belief around the origins of the surname Musk, and some scholars hold that the name is actually of Dutch origin. This is, of course, quite understandable, given the later connections between the Musks and South Africa. Yet, for the purposes of our study, we can already start handing out points on our old money versus new money scoreboard for the Musk family. We'll give one old money point to the Musks for having English lineage, a very common marker in places such as the United States, Canada and South Africa. This is due to the fact that the oft-called founding stock of these countries, at least as far as wealth and influence in the hands of a few at the top, is almost always invariably English if you go back far enough. Furthermore, we'll give an additional old money point to the Musks for likely having a Norman surname, a classic old money signifier. That's because even today in England, many of the aristocrats who have been in power for almost 1,000 years, such as the Dukes of Westminster, the Grosvenor family and the Dukes of Northumberland, the Percy family, have decidedly Norman French names due to their connection with William the Conqueror and the year 1066. However, the Musk family's story also includes humble beginnings. In Tuddenham, Suffolk, the specific ancestor where the name Musk came from, John Musk, married Marion Edwards in 1791, starting an English lineage characterized by manual labor rather than Norman aristocracy. Indeed, their son, Harry, worked as a farm laborer, emphasizing a more modest background. Therefore, we'll take one old money point off of the scoreboard for the Musk family line in England likely being farm labourers, leaving our total scoreline at one to nil, with old money leading with one point. Next, when we explore Elon Musk's Dutch ancestry, we encounter his paternal great-grandmother, a descendant of the Dutch Freebergers in South Africa. These early settlers, previously under the Dutch East India Company, became independent farmers. And though the term burger implies a certain level of affluence or the bourgeoisie, their actual financial standing was often ambiguous. These free burgers could often represent the hard-working middle class, such as farmers, balancing self-sufficiency with aspirations for prosperity. They commonly engaged in trade, selling produce to the Dutch East India Company and ships, striving for a better economic position. However, a social divide emerged within this group, splitting them into the Cape Dutch and the Boers, each reflecting different socio-economic statuses and education levels. This division paints a complex background for the Musk family, leaving their exact financial standing in historical ambiguity. With that all said, we'll award no points either way since this line is unclear, and keep the old money at one to nil. 
Now, in the Swiss chapter of the modern Musk family lineage, we must dive into the Haldimann family, hailing from the Emmental region in central Switzerland. This idyllic farming area in Canton Bern is renowned for its verdant pastures, traditional farmhouses, and the iconic Emmental cheese. You know, the kind of cheese that is famed for its large holes and subtly nutty flavor. Furthermore, the Haldimann name, later anglicized to Haldimann, remains a fixture in the Emmental region. Indeed, the Emmental locals, through centuries of diligent labor, transformed the rocky terrain into fertile farmland, which is humorously captured in a Swiss joke about Emmental farmers being so wealthy that even the poor ones wash their own Mercedes. However, despite its bucolic charm and dairy farming prominence, with Emmental cheese dating back to the Middle Ages as a regional economic cornerstone, the Emmental is now considered one of the less affluent areas in the canton of Bern. Thus, regarding the Musk's economic status in this region, it is difficult to classify them as old money, wealthy. As farmers who left Switzerland before much of the Industrial Revolution, it seems unlikely that they belonged to an aristocratic Swiss lineage. However, in 1719, the Swiss Haldimann family emigrated to the United States, rebranding as the Haldimans, and established themselves in Pennsylvania. There, they founded the Haldimann Estate, overlooking the Susquehanna River, now known as the Haldimann Mansion, within the Locust Grove Estate in Lancaster County. This estate's preservation is overseen by the Haldimann Mansion Preservation Society to this very day. And Elon Musk's mother, May Musk, born May Haldeman in Canada in 1948, notes in her autobiography the family's Swiss to Pennsylvania migration around 1720, aligning with the historical accounts of the Musk family's Swiss origins. And while there's no direct mention in May Musk's autobiography of the Haldeman mansion, its existence at all within the family's American branch history implies a significant old money social indicator, particularly given Pennsylvania's historical association with old money wealth. This connection, through May Musk's maiden name, to a well-established family estate in the United States, reinforces the perception of the Swiss-American Musk family as part of the old money echelon. Therefore, we'll certainly be required to give one extra old money point for having a family estate in the United States in existence to this very day, leaving our current score at plus two for the Musks being old money stock. Furthermore, Almeida Haldeman, a notable figure in the Musk family lineage, and Elon Musk's great-grandmother, earned distinction as Canada's first chiropractor and one of the world's earliest female practitioners in the field. Her journey began around 1904, when her husband was diagnosed with diabetes, an event that led Almeida to pursue an education in chiropractic medicine, a then new healing art, culminating in her degree in 1905. She moved to Saskatchewan, Canada to start her practice, and her son, Joshua Elon Haldeman, illustriously continued her legacy in chiropractic care. Therefore, we'll again have to award at least one more old money point for having not only an ancestor who was the first doctor in any field from one of the world's most advanced economies, Canada, but the fact that ancestor was a woman in a time when women were often not given access to advanced education. That further indicates a distinctly old money lineage for the Musks, leaving us at three points to nil, with the Musks, our old money stock, taking a strong early lead. Now, Joshua Elon Haldeman, Elon Musk's grandfather and his namesake, practiced in Regina, Canada for over 15 years, significantly contributing to the profession's growth in the country. He played a crucial role in securing the 1943 Chiropractic Act in Saskatchewan and was a founding member of both the province's first board of examiners and its first executive board. He also helped establish the Canadian Chiropractic Association and the Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College. And beyond medicine, Joshua was politically engaged. He worked as the research director for Technocracy, incorporated in Canada, advocating for a science-based restructuring of society and politics. And during World War II, he chaired the Social Credit Party and unsuccessfully ran for national parliament. In 1950, Joshua moved his family to South Africa, driven by either concerns over Canada's moral state or a desire for adventure. There, the Haldemans became known for their aviation adventures, including a 30,000-mile flight along Africa's coast and into parts of Asia to reach Australia. Joshua also spent nearly a decade searching for the mythical lost city of the Kalahari. However, 
Joshua's legacy is marred by controversy. He harbored strong anti-Semitic views and supported apartheid in South Africa, and he continued to express these views through writings in pro-apartheid newspapers and a self-published book about global conspiracies. Joshua Haldeman's life ended in a plane crash in 1974, leaving behind a complex and multifaceted legacy. In either case, it is clear that Joshua Haldeman lived a life of many old money markers, being a highly successful and notable doctor, notably engaged in politics and having an old money adventurer lifestyle, all pastimes and interests of the elite. With that said, we'll hand another old money point to the Musks due to the successful, if controversial, life of Joshua Haldeman. Therefore, as it stands, and we dive into the lives of Elon Musk's parents themselves, we have the family at four points to nil in favor of them being old money. However, as we all can probably intuit, how one grows up directly is more influenced by their actual parents more than anything. And so in the next chapter, we may see the new money ethos of the Musk lineage that many people currently connect with the surname due to Elon's antics coming to the fore. Now, May Haldeman Musk, known professionally as May Musk and Elon's mother, was born on the 19th of April, 1948, in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. As we have already highly detailed her parents' background and awarded old money points as needed, we can confidently investigate her life without needing to make any adjustments. Now, May Haldeman was born a twin and one of five siblings, and in 1950, her family moved to Pretoria, South Africa, where she began her modeling career at 15. Musk's career in modeling has spanned over five decades, including recent stints in her 60s and 70s, demonstrating significant adaptability in an industry known for rapidly changing trends. With that said, although May Musk's lineage is fairly old money by most standards, modeling in the middle of the 20th century would likely be actively avoided by old money families at the time, and thus, we should likely remove an old money point from our score, bringing it down to three to nil for old money lineage for the Musks. However, May Musk holds two master's degrees in dietetics and has been active in the nutrition and health sector since the 1980s. An advanced education is definitely an old money trait. Furthermore, her ancestors were some of the most important trailblazers in Canadian history in the health sector, thus, her pivot to modern medicine, on top of owning her own business, seems right in line with the family business. Therefore, we'll return an old money point to the Musk family, since it seems quite natural that at any social function May could confidently, if she so chooses, say that her family has been in medicine for generations. That leads our score back up to four points for old money and zero points for new money. Meanwhile, Errol Musk, Elon Musk's father, made his mark as an electromechanical engineer with numerous successful ventures in the 1970s and 1980s. His contributions to significant projects, including office buildings, retail complexes and residential subdivisions in South Africa, propelled him to millionaire status before the age of 30. With this, his career trajectory exemplifies the ethos of self-made success and technical innovation. From the 1990s, Errol Musk diversified into various ventures, including property and technology. However, in that same decade, Errol Musk ran out of money. Elon Musk and his brother agreed to financially support their father and his extended family in South Africa, on the condition that he refrained from doing, quote, bad things. However, according to Elon Musk, Errol did not adhere to this condition. Therefore, we must first give Errol Musk a point for new money innovation in the beginning of his career, building companies around tech and property, and remove an old money point for being, reportedly, unable to sustain his wealth even for his own lifetime. That leaves our total score at three points for the Musks are old money, and one point for the Musks are new money. Furthermore, a controversial aspect of Errol Musk's past involves his association with an emerald mine in Zambia. This narrative, often debated, started about 40 years ago with his alleged discovery of valuable gemstones in Zambia. However, it is crucial to clarify that most evidence points to the idea Errol Musk never owned an emerald mine. His involvement was more in the realm of importing and cutting raw emeralds in Johannesburg, a venture that eventually collapsed in the 1980s. 
Additionally, Elon Musk has consistently refuted claims of his family owning an emerald mine, emphasizing his self-made status and his journey through college, which left him with considerable student debt. Since the emerald mine controversy is so blurry, we'll award no points either way and move on. Now, Errol Musk has fathered seven children in total, including Elon, Kimball, Tosca, Alexandra, and Asher Rose Musk. However, what makes this particularly interesting for the purposes of our investigation is his relationship with his stepdaughter, Jana Bezoidenhout, resulting in the birth of two children, further complicating the family structure. Even wilder, Errol married Jana's mother, Heide Bezoidenhout, when Jana was just four years old, and the couple stayed together for 18 years and had two children, who are Jana's half-sisters. Therefore, just to make it clear, Elon Musk's father not only had two children with his own stepdaughter, thus making Elon Musk have two half-siblings who are also both his biological sisters and his stepsisters. But Errol Musk initially met that same stepdaughter and future baby mama when she was just four years old. At this point, we think it's only fair to take not one, but two old money points off of the scoreboard for this level of familial complexity, leaving us with a total score of one point for old money and one point for new money. However, perhaps the most important deciding factor for our discussion today will land on none other than the life of Elon Musk himself, far and away the most notable member of the lineage. Next, let's do a deep dive on his personal decisions and decide if they're old money or new money. Elon Musk spent his formative years in Pretoria, South Africa. Born in 1971, Musk's early education took place at the prestigious Pretoria Boys High School, a public tuition-charging English medium institution with a rich history dating back over 110 years. And this school, known for its rigorous academic standards, played a significant role in shaping Musk's intellectual curiosity and drive for success. Thus, from the very beginning, we'll have to give the Musk family an old money point for going to one of the more prestigious exclusive schools in South Africa, leaving our current scoreboard at two to one with old money taking a slight lead. However, Musk's upbringing was far from the old money stereotype that one might associate with such a prestigious education. His family, while entrepreneurial, ambitious and quite famous due to their adventurous lifestyle and political activities, was not exceptionally wealthy during his formative years. In particular, after the divorce of his parents in 1980, Musk chose to live primarily with his father, which quickly spiraled into a challenging financial situation. May Musk had to work five jobs to support her three children, not a very old money lifestyle for Elon to grow up in by any stretch of the imagination. Additionally, Musk's relationship with his father was complex and fraught with tension, with Elon having described his father as a terrible human being and his upbringing as terrible. Therefore, we'll take down another old money point for Elon's childhood due to experiencing financial hardship and emotional volatility that are uncommon amongst the elite, leaving our score tied at one to one. Despite these hardships, May Musk managed to nurture Elon's interests by providing him with books on science fiction, technological advancement, and philosophy, which further fueled his creativity and ambition. Thus, in the mid-1980s, a young Elon Musk found himself captivated by the burgeoning field of computers and science. And this fascination was not merely a passing interest, but a harbinger of a future that would diverge significantly from more old money paths of wealth accumulation and societal contribution. Musk's early passion for technology was a clear indication of a new money trajectory and career choice, one that would rely on innovation and entrepreneurship rather than inheritance or established business empires. Therefore, we'll give Elon's childhood passions plus one point for new money entrepreneurship, leaving the score at two to one in favor of new money for the Musks. Indeed, the new money vibe has mounted quite the comeback. However, Elon Musk's academic journey soon took him to the Ivy League, specifically the University of Pennsylvania, where he completed a double degree in economics and physics. We'll naturally have to give an old money point for attending the Ivy League, which still has quite the class signifiers attached to it, despite recent controversial developments. That leaves our score tied again, a two to two. 
For our final analysis and tiebreaker in the next chapter, we'll have to head toward the actual professional life and decisions of Elon Musk himself. Because it is in his own personal behaviors and public-facing image as the world's richest man that most people in the 21st century interpret the Musk family overall as old money or new money. After graduating from the University of Pennsylvania, Elon Musk embarked on a path of entrepreneurship. Starting off in 1995, he founded Zip2 Corporation with his brother Kimball and friend Gregory Kari. Zip2, an early internet company, provided an online business directory with maps, somewhat similar to the Yellow Pages. Specifically, Musk's idea was to simplify locating and navigating to local businesses for computer users. Although, the company initially struggled to secure financing, but the founder's persistence paid off when Moore Davidow Ventures invested $3 million, gaining majority ownership. Consequently, Zip2 expanded its services to newspapers, creating online directories for subscribers, with the New York Times being an early adopter. And despite being replaced as CEO by Richard Sorkin, Musk remained involved as the executive vice president and chief technology officer. In 1999, Compaq acquired Zip2 for nearly $300 million, earning Musk $22 million from his 7% share, thus setting the stage, financially and professionally, for Musk's future business ventures. Therefore, by coming out of college and not entering a family business, or any tried-and-true old-money professions, rather choosing to follow high-stakes technology innovation and rough-and-tumble entrepreneurship. The recent college graduate Elon Musk most definitely embodied the new money ethos of prioritizing risk and innovation over more traditional old money values. For that, we'll give the Musk family another new money point, leaving our current score at 3-2 to two in favor of the statements, the Musks are new money. Next, in the year 2000, Elon Musk co-founded the now ironically named X.com, then an online payment company later known as PayPal. Musk's focus on security and user experience quickly established PayPal as a leader in online payments, and though subsequently removed from his CEO role, Musk's vision was crucial to PayPal's success. eBay's acquisition of PayPal in 2002 netted Musk a significant sum. The exact amount varies slightly across sources, but it is reported to be over $165 million. Therefore, within five years of graduating from the Ivy League, Elon Musk had become a nine-figure earner, and his wealth was gained not from inherited wealth, nepotism, or even traditional forms of investment, but directly from founding new companies, making shrewd exits on businesses he co-founded, and entering the burgeoning tech sector. For this markedly high-risk, innovation-centered set of decisions, we'll give the Musk family yet another new money point, especially since by then, the professionally non-traditional Elon Musk had made much more money than any of his old money Haldeman ancestors. That leaves our current tally at four to two in favor of the statement, the Musk family is new money. Musk then founded SpaceX in 2002, aiming to make space travel more affordable and his involvement in Tesla, a company initially founded by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening in 2003, began in 2004. As an investor and visionary within the company, Musk played an essential role in future product design and leadership at Tesla, transforming the electric car industry with his transformational leadership style, setting high standards and encouraging innovation. Here, we'll add two additional points for his monumentally innovative and non-traditional involvement in both SpaceX and Tesla. Two companies that are anything but old money in both their product lines and the actual place within the respective organizations that Musk held. Particularly, his shrewd maneuvering into the top spot of Tesla has come under fire numerous times in reports, leading to an even stronger feeling of new money power player ability emanating from Elon Musk when it comes to gaining power and resources. With that said, the Musks have now, surprisingly, taken a strong new money lead in our scoreboard, with the family now standing at six points to two in favor of the statement, the Musks are new money. But Musk's influence extends well beyond Tesla. He has ventured into various innovative fields, reinforcing his status as a new money entrepreneur. He launched SolarCity, a leading photovoltaic system installer and battery energy storage supplier. Additionally, 
he founded Neuralink, focusing on brain-machine interfaces and The Boring Company, a tunnel-boring venture. Furthermore, as we all know by now, in 2022, he added Twitter to his portfolio, acquiring it for $44 billion and taking it private. Musk's tenure at Twitter has been contentious, marked by reinstating former US President Donald Trump, firing the vast majority of the former staff with little explanation and facing backlash for promoting what many say are fringe political theories. Therefore, between his additional non-traditional ventures including Neuralink and his decision to face controversy head-on while helming one of the world's most well-known media brands in Twitter, we shall award the Musks two additional new money points, one point for businesses like Neuralink and one point for very public Twitter controversies, for it's quite clear over the last few years that Elon Musk does not follow the old money whispers adage that many attach to generations long extreme wealth. Therefore, we now stand at a strong lead for the new money ethos of the Musk family, with the score at eight to two. However, certainly decisions around one's love life, parenting style and marriages are a key factor in weighing if someone is old money or new money. Let's dive into Elon Musk's romantic relationships in order to see if we can squeeze some last decisive points in order to get our final tally. And lastly, Musk's personal life has been equally eventful. He married Justine Wilson, a Canadian-born fantasy author, in 2000. The couple faced challenges, including the tragic loss of their first son to sudden infant death syndrome and later divorced in 2008, sharing custody of their five children. After his marriage to Justine Wilson ended in 2008, Musk's romantic life continued to make headlines. He entered a tumultuous relationship with British actress Tallulah Riley, marrying her twice and divorcing her twice. This pattern of multiple marriages could be seen as a new money characteristic, emphasizing personal fulfillment over traditional marital stability. For this, we'll add one point for new money, leaving the score at nine to two. Additionally, Grimes, a Canadian musician and visual artist known for her eclectic and experimental music, met Musk in 2018 after they both made the same pun about artificial intelligence on Twitter. Their relationship has been marked by its share of eccentricities, including the birth of their son, whom they initially named X Sigma A12, a nod to both parents' interests in technology and the unconventional. This unorthodox relationship and child naming practice are both almost decidedly new money. And if anything, these acts are specifically aimed at flouting many old money traditional norms. This surely calls for us to give an additional point in favor of the Musks as being new money, bringing that total to 10. Lastly, Elon Musk's relationship with the now infamous actress Amber Heard deserves a quick note as well. Musk met Amber Heard in 2016 while she was still in her now highly notorious marriage to actor Johnny Depp while working on the film Machete Kills, where Musk made a cameo appearance. Their relationship was intermittent, with the couple citing conflicting schedules as a reason for their breakups. Undoubtedly, dating actresses, especially married ones, is not old money, with the traditionally generations-long wealthy class preferring to date and marry other aristocrats. Thus, we'll remove one old money point for the herd relationship, leaving the score at a shocking 10 to 1 in favor of the statement, the Musks are new money. Therefore, looking holistically at what we've covered today, we can indeed confidently say on one hand, the Musk family has an old money lineage of sorts. The countries their ancestors originate from, such as Switzerland, England and the Netherlands, all have strong ties to the old money aristocracy found in countries such as the United States, Canada and South Africa. Additionally, they have several illustrious family members, including the first chiropractor in the country of Canada and one of South Africa's most famous adventurers, on top of even having a family estate still intact in Pennsylvania. Indeed, even the name Musk itself probably has some kind of old money lineage, perhaps even the Norman aristocracy, as we have mentioned. However, if we're talking about Elon Musk's direct nuclear family, his parents, his own childhood and his personal life path, the Musk family is overwhelmingly new money in their ethos. This is a family full of adventurers and entrepreneurs, full of people who try to carve their own paths in life 
rather than try to follow a generations-old road cut out by their ancestors. Furthermore, these are people who have wildly interesting and dynamic romantic lives. They don't try to follow the subdued, quiet, old money style of child rearing or home life. To that point, when speaking about Elon Musk himself, it is more likely that he proactively tries to go against old money, traditional norms in his decisions, consciously attempting to subvert generationally held assumptions around wealth and push back that the world's richest man has to look, act and think in a certain way in order to be successful. With that said, our final score, as we see it, is 10 points in the favor of the Musk family is new money and one point in the favor of the Musk family is old money. However, that is just one analysis. It's your turn to jump in the ring and tell us your opinion. Is the Musk family old money or new money? We can't wait to hear from you. And thanks for joining us on another episode of Old Money Luxury. Cheers, until next time.